Ladies and gentlemen, our special guest is Breezy McKinley. It's a great pleasure. Thanks so much for joining us. My all right, friend. that's all right. Who is Breezy McKinley? Hmm, who is Breezy McKinley? Well, I hope I can say who I am, uh, you know, sufficiently. My name is Baron McKinley, but my pet name is Breezy, yeah? I was born in Jamaica not long ago, and then as a little kid I went to England, UK. There I grew up, and uh, in fact I spent most of my younger days in America as well, Brooklyn as a matter of fact. I'm a trained contact lenses technician, I'm a youth leader, social worker, I'm also a, a professional actor. I've been in quite a few films as well, yeah. Of course, I'm a singer-songwriter, and uh, I'm, I, I am the tribute man. I've done 13 tributes already. And as a matter of fact, I'm working on two tributes right now, Elvis Presley and Alisa Keys. Those are the two latest tributes I'm working on now. For all the listeners yes. out there, what do you mean by yes. tribute? Well, people who are rich and famous who have made it big time, you know, then I just, you know, compliment them by doing special songs. You know, for example, when you you had your 9-11 uh, incident in America, I did a tribute to 9-11, and that was well respected. I did a tribute to Obama. In fact, I was at the inauguration to perform my song. And it was well respected there, you know, and then we have quite a few. As a matter of fact, my first tribute was to Fats Domino, as, you know, expected, because he's a man influenced me from day one. And then I've done a tribute to um, Oprah Winfrey, you know, and the list goes on. As I said, Elvis Presley was one of my um, mentors as well, so I've done a tribute to him just the other day. You know, and it, you know, the list goes on, you know. That's why I, I am the tribute man. I've gone 15 tributes right now, you know. And you should hear the one uh, I did for Princess Diana as well. That was something. And I got a nice letter from the Queen of England saying that, you know, I shouldn't have gone ahead to uh, do a tribute to uh, Princess Diana. I should have got permission first. Anyway, seeing that I've gone so far as to pen a song and also to uh, make a record out of it, I could do what I want to do. She gave me her blessing and said, be strong. And that is a letter I have and really respect. So you know? what is it about someone that makes you want to do a tribute for them? You know, as I said, it must be somebody who I feel... You know, I, this guy who died a couple of days ago, you know, the um, telephone guy, the computer guy, genius. Steve Jobs. Yes, he should really be having a tribute. I mean, he was exceptionally special, people like him, you know. You, it's, a, it's a pity you have to wait until someone dies to pay respect. But, you know, he needs a tribute as well. He, he deserves a tribute. You know, and when I people like Fats Domino, I heard so much of him before I actually started to sing because it was one of his songs called My Girl Josephine that started me singing. I wanted to be a singer and I just couldn't find the right song to start singing. And then I got involved with that one. I came across My Girl Josephine and that was the first song I started to sing. Held on to his title. Was that the first Fats Domino song that you'd heard? That's the first one I heard. You know, My Girl Josephine. As a matter of fact, I was at one of my friend's house, you know, on a Sunday evening. This is how we used to visit people's house and on a Sunday while we were in London as a kid. He was playing his changer, record changer. And then I started to help sort records, and then I came across... Uh, this um, album jacket with this big fat man on it. 
And when I opened it, it was a little single in there, my girl, girl Josephine. So I put that on, you know, curious. And then, you know, it started, man, and then it opened up a lot of channels in my body, man, you know. It woke me up. And that is the very first song I started to sing. You know, I have to pay respect to him. I did a tribute, 97, I think it was, along with this guy called King Yellowman. King Yellowman is one of our icons, reggae icons. And, you know, that was really respected, that single. And then I went on to do some more. As I, I just finished uh, the album CD uh, entitled Gospel Rain Edition of Fats Domino. And it's really the best seller right now in Jamaica. As a matter of fact, I was in London last month and the very first radio station started to play it, played five chocks of the album. And a lot of people were surprised. In America, I was in Tampa. I was there with like 120 copies just traveling with those. And the very first show I went on, I was able to sell 70 copies. You know, it's just like that. It's just some magic about this man, you know, Fats Domino. What is it you like about Fats Domino? Uh, you know, as I said, he, he has a very nice style. And he's so, you know, he's the image, this image that he has, you know, it's a, he's a real showman. I, I, I want to tell you, I was blessed in um, 95. I was in London and he came there at the Royal Albert Hall just for one show. And that was my birthday gift to me. I went to see him. And I tell you, it was one of the best radio MC personality like yourself. Um, introduced him to the stage. And all this, Tony Blackburn could say, ladies and gentlemen, there are no words to describe this man. All I can say, Hats Domino. And when he came on stage, everybody stood. Right through the performance, most people stood up. Right through, standing ovation, right through the, his performance. And it's not just me. Right now, because of him, my CD is saying number one right here now. Because everybody, man, it's the first album I've ever done where I have people coming to my house knocking for copies to buy. I'm talking about grown-up people, you know, grown-up people, um, retired people, because they say this is a very good song, and it's Pax Domino, it reminds them of time gone, you know. While I was in Tampa, one lady had me singing, Oh, What a Price, four times, because that was the song that her husband met her, uh, met her with. That song was playing, so he asked her for a dance, and th that was the result uh, of the actual song. They got married, and, you know, it was very nice to hear that again. Could you pick a favorite Fats Domino song? Well, to me, I have about four favorites. I, ca I can't boil them down to one, because... Oh, what a price is special. I found my thrill. Wonderful. And I can name them, you know. It's this morning I was listening to some of them. Three nights a week and you're gone. You know, even that is beautiful. You know, they're there, man. They're there. And, you know, but -da -da -dum, there goes my heart again. All that, you know that one, right? Yeah, definitely. You, you name them, man. We know them. They're all wonderful. The lyrics to these songs, it's the yes. melodies that Fast Domino wrote, and then the lyrics you wrote. Right, yes. What inspired yes. you to put the gospel lyrics with Fast Domino's music? Well, the thing is, my first tribute to Fast Domino in 97, it's called Tribute to Fast Domino. And my lyrics were saying... Fats Domino, sing me a song. Fats Domino, sing me another song. I heard you sing, and I would name it songs. So I said, you know, sing us a gospel song now. 
You have done enough in the secular field. Go into the religious field now. But he didn't respond. I don't know because maybe, he, you know, well, I heard he heard it. I heard that he, he, he thought, it, he said it was good. But he didn't move to doing a gospel song. So I said, all right, well, I'll do some gospel songs. Half his songs, you know, and I tell you, man, it's the best thing I've ever done. I've gone about 14 albums. And this is the first one people been moving towards as though it's, you know, the Beatle or the Rolling Stones or something, you know, it's crazy. But I love it because, you know, it tells me that people appreciate a man like him and also my effort. So I'm enjoying it. You know, I'm getting a whole lot of calls from locally and from abroad, you know, a lot of emails and all sorts of things. And also, you know, I've done the video for uh, My Girl Josephine, which is Mother Mary. For me, it's Mother Mary. For Pat Domino, it's My Girl Josephine. The album is entitled Gospel Rendition of Fats Domino. What was right. the experience of recording the album like? I was doing it recording and hoping that somebody will or people will, you know, uh, gravitate to it. You know, it's like uh, you're trying out something new and you don't know how you're going to end up, but you go with faith. Once I did that and I started to sing it when I got out, then I realized that is what people wanted to hear, you know, especially grown-up people. Because, you know, um, I do one and two reggae. I like the reggae, some of the reggae stuff. But the thing is, it gets boring after a while. So... You know, it's not just for me, but it's for others as well. They say the reggae is kind of boring after a while. You know, especially this dance hall sort of hip-hop thing that they have going. You know, it makes you, you know, want a change. And this is definitely a change. Definitely a change. I kind of want to go back back a little. Yeah. What did you listen to growing up in addition to Fast Domino? I didn't listen to anything in particular. I just listened to, well, as a kid, younger than, you know, seven, younger than ten, I should say, we used to have a lot of Calypso and um, Blue Beat. There's a, an old-time music here called Blue Beat. And, the, you know, reggae, the earlier version of reggae, that was the in thing. And... You know, I listened to that, but then, you know, I used to be in love with, like, people like Patty Page and all them kind of singers there, you know, Elvis Presley, them sort of people there, but I didn't really gravitate to anybody, man. It's just Fats Domino is the difference, you know what I mean? Fats Domino. That's why I have to meet that man, and I'm hoping that very soon. I'll be able to have him at the launch, my album launch here in Jamaica. And I want you to be here too, Brother Paul, because you're interviewing me and you need to come and experience the love that people have in Jamaica for Fats Domino. You need to experience that. Anyone you ask about Fats Domino here, they say, oh, yeah, he was a good man. When is he coming to Jamaica? Is he coming to your... Album launch, you know, that's a sort of question. Well, speaking of artists, you've worked yes. with and you've opened for a lot of great artists. You mentioned earlier yes. Yellow Man. Yes, and we have uh, another pioneer called um, Ken Booth and oh. Luciano. These are great reggae singers, you know, icons. You've heard of, well, you must know the i trees. Bob Marley and the I Trees, right? Yeah. Yes, I did. Yeah, well, I did a tribute to Bob Marley as well. And they loved it, and they said they wanted to do the backing on it. And I have them doing the backing on it. It's a wonderful song. It's called Bob Marley's Inspiration. You know, I just keep on doing them, man, you know.
Didn't you perform alongside of or open for UB40 at one time? Uh, well, I went on a thing with them, but I wasn't the opening act. Join some of the guys on the stage. You have other guys. I've, I have worked with um, another guy called um, Desmond Decker. I don't know if you heard of him. Get up in the morning searching for breakfast. So that every mouth can be fed. Ooh, Israelite. Oh, but that was a big, big hit in London, man. England, UK, big, big hit. When UK. someone listens to your music, what do right. you want the listener to get out of the experience of listening? I specialize in the lyrics. You know, it's not so much the music. There must be a message, and it's the message that I try to bring forward. All right. Um, I've just done one. I, I still haven't finished the one that I want to dedicate to um, Alisa Keys. But the, the lyrics saying, you know, um, what's saying now? It's lyrics. Uh, gosh, I can't think of it right now. But, you know, it's such a wonderful song. But, in, you know, in the chorus it's saying, fly high, fly low, fly high, fly low. I love to let you hear it, but it's the, really the message. The really the message in my songs, and that's what I want to get forward. You connect more with the lyric than the melody. Really, yes. A lot of people would tell you that they go for the music, you know, they rather the music. They, they just dance to music. But my songs, I try to make people understand that it's not just the music that is important. The lyrics are more, you know, satisfying, soothing, rewarding. That is the sort of thing I try to let people understand. When I go on concerts, man, you know, it doesn't matter who's the artist, whether it's a big name artist or not, you know, people always love my lyrics because I have the right lyrics and I present it in a inspirational manner. What is it you yes. like about music? What I like about music? Well, you, you know when when I'm driving, I don't have the radio on. I don't play my radio. I just sing songs because songs take you at a different level. Takes you somewhere into a different world. It's mostly the songs, mostly the lyrics that, you know, I'm captivated about, the lyrics. The lyrics, once the lyrics are right, I'm all right, I can go with that. It's not so much the music, but, you know, when you have lyrics, you have to have music with it. But it's mostly the lyrics I'm into. You know, if you listen to this Oprah Winfrey, because I've done a tribute to her, the music is saying one, yeah, but if you listen to the lyrics, you have to take a second thought because I've gone into some research to conclude her story, the story about her. I'm sure when she hears this, she's going to have to say, man, this is something different because it's not an overnight work. You know, it's like, you know, a couple months well because I did a bit, relaxed come back again, do something on it again, relax, and it was like that, you know, because it's a project, it's not just a song, it's not just a record I'm trying to make, I'm trying to put something that she can put down for a following generation, because this is this other person, she is, she's a people's person, and a people's person don't just go like that. That is why I mentioned this guy who just died a couple of days ago, you know. He will never die. And I didn't know this guy was so great until I realized that he was that great after he died. And it's the same for Fats Domino. It's the same for uh, Princess Diana. And you, you, Brother Paul, you're doing a very good work. Because when I look at your site, I see all the people you rap with and the thought of, encouragement that you give them so you know as people are blessed with talents gifts people need to compliment them because these are people who lead people in the right direction rather than leading them astray this is why people must be taught that they sort of role that they're 
live the claim need to be positive because there are always people there gravitating. I'm sure Fast Domino didn't know that <laughs> you'd be such a an, an influence on the world. But he is. Elvis Presley again was a big influence. And by the way, you want to listen to Michael Jackson tribute again as well. I'm sorry you didn't hear that before he passed on, but you know, we've done them and we're still doing them. What is the best thing about being Breezy McKinley? The best thing about being Breezy is that, uh, you know, I'm a natural person. I'm a civilized human being. And I can be adjusted to suit anybody. And I love everybody, even those who might despise me. I still love them because, you know, this is a, life is a journey, man, and you have to just walk right. What you leave, that is the legacy. Whether it's good or, the, or bad, but you have to leave some form of legacy. So better you leave a good one. I like that. You know? What is your favorite yeah. meal? Well, my favorite meal right now is Indian food. I like spicy food, Chinese food. Mm. You know? Being in Jamaica, really, our national dish is ackee. And salt fish, you know, like uh, like like Harry Belafonte saying about, <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, he, you know, he's the right man for that. But you know, I I rather the spicy food. I don't know if it's the best thing for you, but you know, I love that. Well, I have one more question for all yes. the listeners who are listening to this, wherever they are, and whenever they yes. hear. What yes. would you? Breezy McKinley like to say to all the people. God has created everyone. Some with outstanding talents. Some with not so much outstanding talents. But the ones with the outstanding talents must realize that they are leaders. And they're born as leaders and to be leaders. So they have to walk good, you know. Make sure that they walk good. And people like me... Who can who are not famous, rich and famous as they are, they should still respect people like me because we still, you know, draw draw the attention of other people to them or take them to another level. Everybody cannot be rich and famous and brilliant, but we can lift the hands of those who are so that, you know, people realize their dreams as well, their aspirations. Michael Jackson once said, uh, you know, it's not everybody who said they are singers going to be singers, but at least, you know, that's how the world is. Mm. Some we have to promote some. So I'm one of the promoters. You are, the, you are a promoter as well because you're promoting what I'm saying right now. That's right. Rather than so, <laughs> rather than someone promoting you, you're promoting me. You're promoting somebody else. So we have to help each other. We have to we have to realize that we have gifts, and our gifts, you know, are not to be hidden. They are to use the be to the best of our ability. So I thank you for this uh, honorable move, and I, you know, you know, I appreciate this. You know, I hope somebody will get some form of encouragement out of what I have said. We all cannot be leaders, but we can hold up the hands of those who are leaders and be respectful to leaders. Very well spoken. Mr. McKinley, thank you very much for yeah. joining us. And thank you for having me. It's and a pleasure. Keep good, and I hope you like my CD enough to play it and to introduce it to others. Lastly, I'd li like to know when, how, and when can I get to meet this great man, Mr. Fats Domino? I would love that. So if somebody is listening and can help me to reach his territory, I would appreciate that. Thank you for having me, Sir Paul, and may the good Lord be with you, okay? Thank you. May, may God bless you as well. Thank you, sir.